Welcome to a brand new vlog. My new blind has arrived. Yes. <laughs> the peg saying hello. <laughs> Looking very chewy white. I'm going to include a clip now for you to see the day this arrived because as you're aware, or you may not be aware, and if you're brand new around here, then two weeks ago I decided to come up with this marvellous idea of cleaning my Venetian blinds, which did have tapes on them, but just didn't go to plan. So I had to wait, order a new blind. I paid for, I paid about 18 or 19 pounds for super fast delivery so that I could get the new white blinds up on the window and have a little bit of privacy because anybody in the back of their houses could see right into my kitchen. And I just don't like the idea of that. So I wanted to have a new blind put up as soon as possible. I had this makeshift sheet. I'm gonna include the clips because the clips explain it better than I can right now. I had a big sheet balancing on the tripods in the window to have a bit of privacy. Obviously, it's still only very early, so it's only just getting light. But the blind should arrive today, and I have just noticed. Look at all that condensation on the window. That is the inside. That's not even the outside. And that was solely from having a sheet balance there because I've never had this. That is so wet. There's a lot, and it was raining outside, but let's get the kitchen roll out. That is how wet. In fact, I don't even think you can see it. It's very, like I could rip it with my finger, it's that wet. The conclusion is, if you have anything heavy on your windows and you do suffer from condensation, I think the best way to avoid it I don't know whether you'd totally eliminate it, but the best way to avoid it is to open the curtains fully and open the window a tiny little bit. I would open the window right now, but like you've seen, it's very wet and rainy this morning in Liverpool. But I just thought I would film that little bit because on one of my previous videos, someone mentioned that they get a lot of condensation on their windows and it could be down to how the window is dressed. These are the new blinds. Watch the colour difference. I don't even know whether that's going to show up on camera, but this is not white. That's white, and that's a seven year old blind. Absolutely gutted. <laughs> And this is just what happens when you buy stuff online. You can't see the exact colour of something. So I measured the window. I don't think I've done too badly. And I fitted them on the existing brackets that were already up, which is perfect. They're just, they're not white. I honestly thought they were going to be like white, white, like snow white like these, but they're just not. They are definitely more, I'd say more chewy white. It doesn't sound nice at all. I don't even think the camera's picking it up, but you know what? For now, they will do the job. And I finally have <laughs> some blinds back on the window. So as you've seen, <laughs> didn't really go to plan. <laughs> Got a bit of a chewy white blind, but we're living with it. It is what it is. It was a very expensive mistake for me to make, and one that I won't make again. I did send off to another company for some samples because when you're buying a blind online, I didn't have time to order samples. And the only tip that I can give you, if you're gonna go on to blind companies online and try and buy a blind, don't rush into it the way that I did because you will end up with what I have, <laughs> which is a very off-white, chewy white blind. In fact, Ollie came in that night. I wish I would have been vlogging because he walked in and this was Ollie's reaction. Buy a used blind, yeah? I went, no, it's it's a new blind. And he went, and we went, I thought you bought it off like Vinters or something like that, and it had been in a smoker's house. Like, no. <laughs> that is our brand new blind, son. <laughs> but I did get these samples, which I ordered online. But again, they are not what I'm looking for. This one is okay. But the quality just, oh, be a focus. The quality just 
isn't the best. They feel a little bit papery. So I'm not gonna go with them. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna live with my chili blind. I've just gotta live with it. It is what it is. I, I'm not gonna mention any more about that. But if you do happen to wanna order blinds online, I strongly, strongly suggest you get a company out to you, like Pure Blinds, who I purchased my blinds off seven years ago, and they've been outstanding. Every blind in my house was fitted by Pure Blind Liverpool, and they were amazing. They bring the samples, you can see exactly what you get. I mean, the quality of these, and those that are up on the window in comparison to the ones that are took down. Anyway, big whole ramble. Just be careful when you are buying online is all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna speak about it anymore. <laughs> it's negativity, no one wants negativity. So, before we get stuck into the vlog, can I just show you my Valentine's Day wax melt boxes? I haven't made many, I've made 12. I'm not even gonna lie about the number. I've made 12 of these to put onto my website and let you have a little try. They are the J'adore collection. It's just basically Happy Valentine's Day from Tony and Teria. But they are the J'adore collection in a lovely red ribbon with a little heart on and I thought they'd make a lovely gift to you, from you, for Valentine's Day. We don't need men to buy us things for Valentine's Day. We can buy our own things for Valentine's Day. And I have something else as well. A little plug of my own brand. I should stick an ad up here, shouldn't I? Or an ad up here. I don't know which side it is, but I will stick an ad up. Look what I have. I have Harrods. Harrods in the air diffuser. So these will be the only two fragrances that are available, which is Tony's blend, which I've been using every single day. It really does smell amazing. Thank you so much for all your purchases on this one as well. I absolutely love it. But to have Harrods as well and have the two to switch out whenever you want, I think is perfection. So they smell exactly the same as the wax melts. They're not to be used as perfumes. They are specifically made for an electric air diffuser. If you use Pop Puri, you can pop a couple of drops on the Pop Puri, but highly recommend this for your air diffuser. Pop a little bit of boiling water in out of the kettle and a, about half a pipette. This is the pipette that comes with the air diffuser fragrance. I usually put half in, which is probably about four or five drops into the air diffuser and it smells amazing so they're the only two fragrances that are going on the air diffuser side of things i'm currently awaiting i've ordered about 17 new fragrances now as you know i have a very fussy nose when it comes to fragrances so i will probably talk about that in a future vlog about what ones will make it onto the website etsy or what ones don't because not every fragrance makes it in the cut I want to make something that I absolutely love the smell of and I love that you love the same smells as me like Harrods, the Hamptons, Tony's blend, Cashmere is gorgeous. It is such a lovely fragrance and I'm very fussy when it comes to the fragrances so that's where we're up to with that. I've been doing a lot of work. I've been recreating these using my Cricut and also I made, let me get it and show you. I made these. So these labels I also created on the Cricut. So I used the print and cut design and now I've got nice little labels. The CLP details will be on the back of the little clamshell but they're the little labels for the front and I've, I've only done five. I've done Harrods Spring Kitchen. In January this flies off the shelves in my store. Everybody loves Spring Kitchen. I think we're all just craving seeing a little bit of colour on the ground rather than frost and ice. But I love winter. I do not wish winter away. Like, spring can stay in March. I don't mind seeing a pop of a daffodil and a blossom in February, but it can stay in March. I absolutely love the cold weather and the winter. So I've also done Tony's Blend, Luxury Cashmere and the Hamptons. So, I have been very busy sorting the business side of things out and this year I really want to scale up on my foam fragrances, wax melts and dip my toe into candle making. I'm definitely going to do it, I just wish I had more space to do it but I really do want to work on that this year because it's been what, three years? 
three years. I know I took a little hiatus from it at some point, but I really want to scale that up a little bit and have a little bit more on there. That's what I'm going to do throughout 2023. And my word for the new year is slow, to just do things a little bit slower. I have dropped my days before Christmas, I dropped the amount of days that I work. And I've decided to put that little bit of spare time into the whole Tony interior thing and just see where it takes us at the end of the year. I've had a no spend January, which is going really, really well. You did see me put together in Sunday's vlog the new little bench that I wanted from H&M. I've been waiting for that for so long. I've had it in my saved on H&M and every time I went to purchase it, it was out of stock. So it was a little bit of a splurge, but other than that, I've been so good. I haven't been anywhere, haven't been doing the shopping online or anything like that. No spend January is going really well. I'm just trying to be a lot more mindful of the money that I'm spending. I don't know who may need to hear this this morning, but yesterday and today it was light by around 25 to 8 in the morning and at 3.55 yesterday morning and 10 past 4 this morning, the birds were singing. I could hear them ever so gently with their little morning song. And it always makes me think of my dad when I hear the birds singing. So if you're not really a lover of winter and the dark mornings or dark early afternoons, it's coming. It's coming thick and fast. One thing that Mother Nature never lets us down with is the roll round of those light mornings. And I love them. I'm all for them. As much as I love the winter, I do love the light mornings. But good morning. Hope that you're all having a lovely start of the day. Ollie has left for Budapest this morning. They left around about half five this morning. So they've gone to Budapest until Friday. They're there for four days. So... That will be nice. I'm going to miss them. The house always feels so quiet. And although we've only got Lee, <laughs> it's like we have about five kids. What are you all doing with your day to day? Or what have you done? Because this video is probably going up in the night time. And I would love to know if you've had a lovely productive day or you've been in work. Let me know what you've been doing. I wanted to show you <laughs> what I'm doing. What I'm doing with my bench. Um, oh, I don't know whether you've ever noticed, but I have the smallest hall in Liverpool. It literally is a case of walking and turning around and that's it. But I don't, it doesn't help that I have the radiator cover and a safety gate. And the reason why I have the safety gate there is to stop the dogs running out. If the front door is open, my biggest fear is them running out and a car coming. So I have the safety gate there for that, but it's only a very small space. And we all have to sit on the stairs to put our shoes on because there's nowhere to put your shoes on. It's not like we have a lovely little built-in seating area or anything like that. It's just a very small hall. So I thought having that bench, it's the perfect spot to be able to sit down and put our shoes on. And that was why I bought it. where the last few days have gone hmm. before I start the washing machine and it gets all noisy <laughs> we better just catch up I last vlogged I think it was the day that Ollie went to Budapest and he's coming home today today is Friday so he's due home today no doubt I'll have a huge pile of washing <laughs> just put a wash in the washing machine now so I'm all ready and prepared although he's not getting home until later tonight and I thought 
I haven't picked a camera up at all. So I've had two date nights with Lee, <laughs> which is unusual. So we went for a curry and then we had a Wagamama's, which is my favorite food. I absolutely love Wagamama's. And yeah, I had teriyaki soba and it was so nice. And then last night I was out with four of my friends for something to eat and just a nice catch up because I hadn't seen Lou since our birthday last year, April. Things just get chaotic. And it's at times like that where you're catching up with your friends that you realize I've missed this. <laughs> so we had a lovely night. And now today is Friday and all these home today. So I've got some orders that I need to do for wax melts and room fragrances. I need to make some wax melts and, oh, and I need to show you this. I'm on no spend January, but I did run out of foundation. I just use, every day I use a Maybelline foundation, which is absolutely fine, but I'd run out. So I was like, I need to go to Superdrug. So I went to Superdrug and I got this, the Garnier BB Cream. I used to use this about, probably about 10 years ago. And it was a great, BB cream, foundation, moisturiser, SPF, it's got a little bit of everything in it, but they've reformulated it in some way. And I mean, it's only very sheer coverage, but oh my gosh, my skin has been loving this. I use Factor 50 every single day. As you know, I use a La Roche-Posay tinted SPF. So while I've been using this, I haven't been using the Factor 50. I mean, it's not really sunny anyway. This has got Factor 15 in it, but it was on offer in Superdrug for £4.50. My skin is absolutely loving it. I got the medium, just in case anybody is interested and wanting a little change. I usually use a Fit Me foundation from Maybelline. That is so nice, I highly recommend it. And it was £4.50, so much cheaper. It used to be in like a plastic tube, it's now like a reinforced cardboard tube. Highly recommend this. And I also nipped in, I've become so frugal, frugal? <laughs> I've become so frugal in January. I nipped into Tesco's and seen these. Refill pack for 500. Let's open it. You get a hundred little, tablets so you get 500 in total to top this up. I thought that was a great idea. They worked out a pound cheaper than this which has 300 in. So you get 500, save a pound, less plastic. So they're my little buys. I haven't bought it. Oh no, won't be any noise here drinking that water. Are you done? That was a big drink, wasn't it? Can you see him? That was a big drink. Was she thirsty? Yeah, that was thirsty, Mum. Yeah, so that was all I bought from Tesco's. I thought they were great. For being able to refill this, because I didn't even realise you can just pull the lid up and the sweeteners go in the top. Well, I never. <laughs> every day. So I've been very good, very, very good with my no spend January. And every time I've gone to purchase something, I've sent that over to my savings account so I can make a total at the end of January, which isn't long, at the end of January and work out how much I've saved through not making those impulse purchases because I've been sorting my accounts out ready for next year. My accounts are currently with my accountant at the moment for the last tax year. I spend a lot of money creating. Now what Peg's drinking? What is it? <laughs> is everybody thirsty this morning? <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> because that was yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's now Saturday. <laughs> I don't know where the days are going. I put the camera down because Neville was drinking, then Peg was drinking, now Peg's snoring. Let me switch that light off, that is so annoying. I was saying my accounts are with my accountant and it costs a lot of money to run a YouTube channel because there's so many things that you have to pay for. And not only that, sometimes we can make impulse purchases owning a YouTube channel to go, oh, you know, Someone might really love to see this or someone might really love to see that. And that gets quite costly doing that. So I'm not doing it. 
few clips that you would have seen during this week's vlog where I'm sat at the table. I was sorting my accounts out because I'm trying to be really organized with them. I tend to try and do this every year and it kind of doesn't go to plan. I end up chaotic during January and the accountant's like, Tony, get them accounts into me right now. And I'm like, I'm oh, cool. It's been a strange week editing this vlog. I was just like, what was I doing? Like, I was on the wrong sentence on Tuesday. I was on the completely wrong sentence and I look all blown out and white. I had no foundation on a couple of the days. One of them, it's like six o'clock in the morning and I'm stood in this window showing you the condensation with not a patch, not even a dot of concealer on my face. I'm like, do I really want to put this on the internet? And then I thought, well, would I go to Sainsbury's and do my weekly shop looking like that? Yeah, I would. <laughs> and I'm doing it right now. I haven't got a patch of concealer on my face, but yet yeah, I'm still stood here saying, make more of an effort. Like, brush your hair. But it's just a relaxing Saturday. And I want to really embrace the time where I can just relax and do nothing. And I don't want to sit with concealer or BB cream or anything on my face. So I'm just here, what and all. And I can really apologise for the way that I look. My hair is getting done on Tuesday. You may notice, look how much grey I've got coming through the front. I'm like, I've never had that much grey. <laughs> and I can see it a lot during the editing of this video. I can only apologise, but you know what? If you want a perfection, you ain't gonna get that on my channel. <laughs> Absolutely no. I'm not here to look pretty. I am relaxing with the dogs. I've got a mountain of washing all done. I'm now getting my fix of Peter Crouch. Please tell me I am not alone when I say this man is a god. <laughs> Lee hates him with a passion because he feels a little bit inferior of Peter Crouch, but oh, do I adore that man? Oh my gosh, please tell me I'm not on my own. Does anybody else look at him and go, you are beautiful. Like you are a beautiful man. He's got lovely hands and just lovely teeth. And he's just very, very dreamy. Because no one wants to sit listening to me dribbling about Peter Crouch. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that I've not been anywhere or done anything. I've got a update on my no spend january coming that's what i'm going to do this afternoon i'm going to sit and go through those figures i've probably got a week before i can tally up exactly how much i've saved but i've got some great money saving tips coming with regards to saving money being a little bit more frugal and saying no to those impulse purchases because i can get spendy with impulse purchases and it's felt good throughout january to say now and just be like no 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 and hopefully by me sharing that video with you it will help you to save a little bit maybe throughout Feb february <laughs> why can't i get my words out maybe it can help you save a little bit throughout february or whatever month you want to i've got my declutter saving challenge coming which is going to be a video of lots of different things what i have sold throughout january which i'm going to keep a secret to save up and everything peg i'm coming back in now <laughs> to in <laughs> she threw me off track she does it all the time oh gosh i snoring so loud honestly because she got a flat nose um in that video in that video there are lots of ways not not lots of ways what am i talking about in that video it's because i've only filmed one week's worth for it but during that video you will see ways that i have ways that i have used oh, oh my gosh during that video i will share the way <laughs> why does this feel like so awkward in that video i will <laughs> What's the matter with me? Right. In that video, I will share all the tips that I have used myself to save a little bit of money on the items that I no longer use, need or love. And I can't wait to share it. There is already over £180 that I have made through decluttering and getting rid of stuff that I just don't use anymore. One item was £60, which was one of Lee's items that he gave me to sell on Vinted. 
I got 60 pounds for it. So I've got 180 pounds in my savings. That's besides the money that I've already saved through not spending it on stuff that I just don't need throughout January. But if anything, it's making me more excited to just let go of things that will bring somebody else a little bit of happiness or joy, or they may enjoy wearing it or using it, whatever it may be. It's giving me that little bit of drive to see that money going up, just little by little. But it feels good and we'll do a full tally every month of how much we've made by selling on Vinted, Depop, eBay, Gumtree. There are so many selling sites, Facebook Marketplace. You can put things anywhere now and sell them. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'm just rambling now. So I will see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> Have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched it all the way up to here, leave me a comment and let me know if you feel the same way about Peter Crouch as I feel. Mm-hmm.